Welcome back to our Advent Reflection Series. I'm Tony Jesse. In our last video, we looked at the concept of fatherhood. Today, we'll examine the theology of the family. St. John Paul II once said, God in his deepest mystery is not a solitude, but a family, since he has in himself fatherhood, sonship, and the essence of the family, which is love. The father gives himself fully to the son. The son fully receives the father, and gives back to the Father, and the love that flows between the Father and the Son is the Holy Spirit. So if we add this relationship up, we have a family. This means that the human family that God designed mirrors who God is. We can see this parallel in the biblical story as well. A woman came from the rib of man. The two are distinct, but when they engage in the marital act, they become one flesh. The love between them is a person, is a real person, so real that they have to give that person a name nine months later. This child that the husband and the wife creates embodies their love. So the family originates in a marital communion as a covenant, man and woman giving themselves totally to each other, creating a child. God is showing us that the family is the core of his message to us. As John Paul II said, the history of mankind, the history of salvation, passes by way of the family. In other words, the family is at the center of the struggle between good and evil, between life and death, between love and all that is opposed to love. All of salvation history can be understood as a family story, from the Trinity, which is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, a family, to the church, down to the individual family. As Father, God's intent is to raise mature sons and daughters, and he does this by drawing us into his family, actively as co-workers, as Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians. We see that the Virgin Mary is a co-worker with God in the redemption of mankind within God's family paradigm. Now moving down to our human families. Psalm 68 tells us that God sets the lonely and the desolate into families. We can notice that our human families are flawed and imperfect. But what's interesting is that Jesus' family line in Matthew's genealogy, there was a number of corruption and black sheep in that family, as well as a list of righteous heroes of the faith. So Jesus' family line shows us that God enters into all types of families, the good and the not so good. Let us also recall a profound statement by John Paul II. When he said, as the family goes, so goes the nation, so goes the world in which we live in. What John Paul II is articulating is that the family is the building block of society. Research has shown that a healthy family unit causes natural, national stability. Conversely, when the family breaks down, the society experiences instability and breakdown. In our day, we could witness the family structure breaking down and society is breaking down. But here is the season when God, God as family, comes into our human family through the holy family of Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. Truly, the family is the theater on which we see salvation history continue. And it's the primary point of entry into the divine drama that we live in today. St. John Paul II also told us, in coming to the world, man becomes, he begins in the family, has his great adventure, the adventure of human life. As we finish the adventure of Advent, let us hold tight to our family and the fact that we are part of God's family as he comes to us through the Holy Family. Join us this Advent season as we draw closer to the coming of the Christ child.